Today's we will see about a MRT equalizer how to use through the PC3000. This is our hard disk models. We have connected the equalizer. We will show you already how to connect the equalizers. That is one another video is there in the MRT. So we have connected this charger hard disk through the MRT equalizers and we have connected the PC3000 cable here and one USB cable that is directly connected to USB port and uh, that is COM port and all those things we have connected here. So we have connected here through the PC3000. You can see we have connected to port 0 to PC3000 and we have PC3000 UDMA and it is connected on back side this hard disk. So this is your MRT equalizers that we are using with the PC3000. Now we will connect hard disk and so. So we have connected here port 0, this is your hard disk, we go to auto power on, when we power on it comes for busy for some time, up to 2-5 seconds it will be busy and DRD DSC comes. Now we go to auto identify, we will select, sorry, we will select here auto identify, here we will go automatic detection, so it will detect WDC and WDC Marvel then we will run start utility so it will automatically try to detect the model so here is a model come but here is a normal model we go auto detect then it will automatically detect if ROM and service area is ok it will detect the charger families this is PC3000 options we already shown in the MRT how it is working. Now it is on PC3000. So we have only additional it is connecting through the MRT equalizers pin. How to connect equalizers that we will show on before these videos or it is on website also you can see it. So we have auto detect charger. Then we will start the utility. So when we start the utility, the utility start model number come, serial number come, firmware capacities come. But here it will not access the service area or firmware or ROM. See ROM it cannot be read. Nothing it can be do. When we go to uh, service area and we will find modules or zone table or head test anything we are doing. It will give me error because the no module is will be show here. So this is if you go head test anything it will not access me the firmware read ROM or something we ROM information nothing it will show so it will not access service area ROM or anything to repair the hard disk for the problem if there is a problem in the hard disk if you want to repair the hard disk in that condition we have to unlock the ROM then only it will access me the service area ROM to unlock we have used uh, a multi equalizer for unlocking this is USB hard disk and we are using a SATA unlocking so next portions we will show you about how to use this. See, this is before unlocking these options is come. Now we will unlock then we will see we power off. We go back. We go to website. Hello. You, you can download from here MRT website you can download or with the equalizer you will get the software. That is version 5 you can download here. You can download from here MRT signal equalizers. There is a driver also and MRT signal equalizer. You can download here and we can also download here. So it will download the software here. So after downloading you have to install the software. First we have to install the equalizer software and another is this. So this you have to install first thing. I am just putting one note and I will give you the link of from where you have to download. Okay, there is two software that you have to download. So that is a driver and MRT signal equalizer. If you go on MRT signal equalizer, it will give me the version 5. But my USB equalizer is old version so it will support on 3 version but the latest after June 2023 you have purchased then it will work on equalizers 
signals so this we already have this older version that is a 3.6 because my usb equalizer is before 23 june 23 so i am using this equalizers the so here we have connected mrt change signal equalizers uh, then we will go to uh, where is it is connected on the which port depend on that we have to select the port so this equalizer is connected on com port how to identify which port it has been connected we will go to device managers and then we will see where the driver it has been set the so here it will show me the usb enhanced serial this is my equalizers this is com port and this is printer port and this is communication port so this is my equalizers port that is a port whenever i install the driver it will take four okay then on we have to open the port that is on when we open the port the power supply is on on the equalizers you can see the power equalizer is on then we have to read acha first we have to find the size size is depend i have one make one chart about the which size are there normally there is 1 mb or 2 mb 1 mb or 512 so that this depend so if you have a charger it will be that and with this Uh, if it is charger, it is 1 MB. If it is Palmer, 1 MB. Spyglass, 512. Spyglass 2 also 512. Carmel, Venice, this family depend on that. You have to find it 1 MB. So we have given 1 MB. Then we will give the power. So it give the power to read. This is yes. So it is Chinese language. So we will put yes. So it will power on. Equalizers get one green light to read. now we will read the rom we put okay then it will start reading the rom files you can see it is reading the rom file after reading it will show me the structure of the rom and we have to save it one place where you have this uh, firmware that is an this is original rom so after unlocking we want to write again the original rom that will be good you don't have to set this anything it is default this is only that is a file load configuration and which pcb are using depend on that it will take automatically 67 if you have 41 if you have 69 35 then okay this is old version and setting work list if you want to set the folders where to write and it is a language if you put english then it will come to english reply like that so these are the options see now my rom has been read it completely <coughs> we will save the rom see now we have read it is read in the ram now if you want to save this uh, file then we will go to load load means it will say give me ask me the location where we have to write this file in the my computer so i will go on the desktop i have make one uh, equalizers video i am saving here as an folder name that is 80065 ha huh? customer name or invert number whatever you have you can find it and you can note down ha huh? uh add okay i will put here and i will save is a rom and i will put here original lock so i will remember what is that okay original log file hmm i will save it now this portion of mrt change signals is finished now i will go back now i will go to pc 3000 i will go back now i will st start Uh, no need of starting the po i will go directly wdc marvel we don't power on the hard disk now only we have to unlock the sed rom so we will go to unlock sed hard disk then we go to our uh, file where we have put the rom original we will open the original file okay original file it will open it will give me the id attributes and all those things is there we have to just unlock the 
hard disk to access the service area access. So, we will unlock the hard disk patch. It will give me where to write. So, we have put original unlock this original automatically it comes the name unlock. So, whatever the ROM it is now this ROM is unlock and this is original lock. So, I will write here unlock. I will give the name unlock. Uh, this is date, time and everything is same, then I will save. So, it will make one patch on the ROM and this it is make a file and it is already save the on my low folder and here it will view me the files. Now, we will close it, everything ok, now we will close it. Now, we will write this unlock ROM to through MRT equalizers. So, what happened? We will go to equalizers again. Now, we again open. We will again, this is already old file. Now, we will again open the file. This is our unlock file. We will take the unlock which is done by the PC3000. We will open the unlock file. Then, we will write it. So, this is old, our old files. Now, we will write. We already open. Now, we will write. So, this will start writing on the ROM to of the PCB. We have to unlock the patch through the PC3000 and again write through the utility MRT change signals. We have to unlock on the PC3000. If you are using MRT, then we have to unlock on MRT. So, whatever the patch he is make, that will work on that hard, uh, device only. If you unlock on PC3000 and uh, run on MRT, it will not work. So, whatever you will unlock, it will run on that device only. So, we have unlock on through the PC3000. After it is unlock, we have write also. See now write complete. Okay. Now we will close this. Okay. We power off. Power of the uh, PCB. So it power off. Now we will close ROM. Then I will go to PC3000. Then I will power on. You can see there I will power on the hard disk. It will busy for 2-3 seconds. Then the DRD DSC comes. Okay, DRD DSC comes. Now I will go to auto identification. So it will automatically detect. We run utility. It will select the family. I will go auto detect. It will automatically detect the charger family. Now I will go to utility start. After utility start, now you can see we can access the ROM and everything we can access. There is no problem. Now I can open the ROM informations, no problem. ROM open informations also open. Service area, head test, everything is okay. No problem is there. Now I can repair the artist and recover the data. No problem. So this is the process how we are doing unlock the ROM. This is USB hard disk. Okay. So, USB to SATA also done and ROM unlock also done. Both the function at a time it can be do. So, this is your MRT equalizer how to use. The person who purchased this device, we will give this video how to use it. So, this is your normally head test is going on. So after head test completion, we will check the sector access is now reading. There is no SED encryption <coughs> this is head test it take time in pc3000 but in mrt it is giving very fast it take one file read and write so how much it take times it will show you me here 
cylinder number minus 5 it is writing and writing one files just to identify the head is ok or not like that so if head is ok now we will access the sector if it is encryption or not through the MBR we will view MBR sectors so we will give sector edit we will check the 0 0 is my MBR so we will open the 0 and we will check it is encryption or not with the help of this double pi double a we can identify it is not encrypted again we will go to sector edit and go to 2048 that is C drive first partition it is also open or not that also we will see it is open and further also some data it is showing means my data is visible now we I can recover the data if you want to recover or if any form is slow responding then also we can repair if zone error we can load LDR that all things you know already so this is how to use the equalizer videos okay this is in terms of data recovery service and training Mr. Khan, uh, if you want to learn more depth about the PC3000 or MRT, you can contact us. We are providing online offline courses. You can join it. And if you want more tools, MRT or PC3000 or any other tools, physical tools or equalizers, you can contact us. Okay. Thank you.